Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So far this morning, I just hung up a print that I finally got back from the framers in my room and I'm so happy with how it looks in there. It is by Livia Falkaru. I showed you guys when I first got the print and it's finally back. It took like a month, but I just hung it and I think it looks so good. I feel like it makes my bed look like it needs a headboard now, so maybe that's my next room improvement but i honestly don't really love my bed either it's a full and the mattress is like from ikea it's not very comfortable bed stuff is so annoying because like i'm not gonna invest in a headboard for a full bed if i really just want a queen but then i really will have to get a new mattress and then i'm gonna need a new bed frame and then suddenly we're in thousands of dollars. So I'm managing right now, but that is something I would love to upgrade in my room. Yeah, just, you know, being real. I wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. It is super hot today. That's why I'm wearing literally a sports bra. This is from Set Active with these pants from Lisa Says Ga. These are just my Arizona Birkenstocks. They're like vegan plastic. I mean, I might wear sneakers, but these are really comfortable for now. And then this is from Redone and I got it on ThreadUp actually. So it was on a super discount. I think it's like super funky. And this video is actually sponsored by ThreadUp. So huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's vlog. I have been using ThreadUp for years because you can find all of your favorite brands for women and children like Redone for up to 90% off traditional retail price. And of course it is all online, which just makes things so much easier. You are clearly already on Online. I am always online and I can find really specific items by searching for brands that I like or styles that I like so that is something that I really love about ThreadUp. The site is updated daily and they have over 40,000 brands to choose from. Now on to the haul of things that I picked out from ThreadUp. We are gonna start out with the shirt that I'm currently wearing. This is from the brand Redone which is one of my favorite brands when it comes to jeans but it's definitely out of my typical budget when it comes to like their clothing items. So I was really excited to find this on ThreadUp because the estimated retail price for this is $296, but I got it for $74.99 on ThreadUp. I think this piece is so unique and I love styling it the way I did today, or you could wear it closed with a pair of jeans. It's just such a beautiful top, such a statement, and I think I'm gonna wear it a lot this summer. This next piece that I got is a linen shirt dress from Gap. And this I bought with the intention of wearing it over a swimsuit to the beach, to the pool. So that is how I'm showing you it in the try on. Just for context, if you're confused why I'm wearing a swimsuit. But I love this. It is 100% linen and the estimated retail price was $55 and I got it for $18.99 on ThreadUp. I also picked up this flowy little like pirate style crop top from the brand John Galt. So it is one size because it is sold at Brandy Melville, but it's very flowy. So I knew it would fit and it does. This one was super affordable. The estimated retail price was $15 and I got it for $11.99 on ThreadUp. Next up, I got a, another sweater vest because I really love sweater vests. I discovered that this year. So I picked out this one. The brand is Doncaster Sport and it's like a very, very dark chocolate brown. The original price was $167 and I got it for $37.99. I think these have to be my favorite find. They are a pair of black western cowboy boots that have a flat heel. I honestly just don't like wearing heels. I have accepted it and all of my heel boots are like slowly collecting dust. So I really wanted to find a pair that was flat so that I could wear them more because I love how they look. The brand is Rampage and they were originally $60, but I got them for $26.99 on ThreadUp. The last thing that I picked up is just this little graphic tee from Levi's because I really love white graphic tees in the summer. I feel like I'm just wearing them all the time, and so it's nice to just have another one. Their stuff is super soft, and this was only $13.99 on ThreadUp. The estimated retail price was $36. 
that is everything that I got from ThreadUp. And if you are interested in checking them out, I will have a link in the description, but you can also get 30% off with the code Lindsay on top of the amazing deals they already have going on. I just threw on some Doc Martin sandals. These are definitely the move for today's activities. It is now 1.30 and I'm about to meet Claire for a picnic. We're gonna meet at Erwan first and then get some food to bring to the picnic. But yesterday I actually just made some chickpea salad. So I think I'm gonna bring a sandwich with me and then maybe just like get some sides and like a cookie because Erwan is so expensive and honestly, this is really tasty, so I'm just gonna make a sandwich and then head out. But I'm going to bring this kombucha with me, which is the Health Aid Ginger and Pineapple with Extra Probiotics. This one is their Belly Reset, that's like the name of it. And I'm very excited. I also just realized that I forgot to tell you guys, you might have noticed, but I got a second tattoo. I know, I just got my first one, but it is right here. It says, take care, and I got it at the same studio as my last one. The way that this sandwich just fit in there was so pleasing. Wow, okay, beautiful. It is almost 6 p.m. We were at the park for like two and a half hours and I just remembered that I had plans today to bring some extra dog stuff over to my friend that's fostering a dog because I have a ton of harnesses and leashes from when Sammy was like five pounds and she's 10 pounds now so I really don't need this stuff. So I am going to drive over and see her now again. I don't wanna be late, but it's quite a bit colder. So that's why I'm putting on this ribbed piece, which kind of goes with the outfit. I'm going to get on the road now, but it was so nice seeing Claire. <laughs> I just got home from seeing Genevieve and her little foster puppy who is so cute and I didn't even know that she didn't have a harness, a collar, or a leash or anything so it really worked out that we met up and he is so cute in his new little outfits. I also had like this tiny little sweater with a hood that worked out perfectly for his size and because he has a skin condition that he's working on and he's just such a sweet, sweet little boy. I am about to make a pizza. This is the Daya gluten-free pizza. It is the Meat Lovers, so it has fake pepperoni and sausage. I've heard good things about this from you guys, so I'll let you know what I think. And I am probably gonna just continue this vlog into tomorrow since I didn't vlog a ton, but I am getting Sammy tomorrow because I just came up here for like two days without her so I could like film a bunch of sponsored content that I needed to and get some things for Mother's Day for my mom before I go down for this weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. Mother's Day is actually also my mom's birthday, so it's kind of a big deal and I'm going to order her a dozen gluten-free cupcakes and donuts from Erin McKenna's, which is my favorite gluten-free and vegan bakery. Like, I just feel so lucky that that even exists. I have not had diet cheese since they reformulated, so I'm definitely interested to try it. So far, it looks really good. The pepperoni is really good. It's super spicy. 
and the cheese does not stick to the roof of your mouth. I just really appreciate the fact that it's gluten-free and vegan. That is so hard to find. This is what my evening looks like. I'm probably just going to wash my face and then maybe edit in bed, but yeah, not, not bad. Good morning, guys. I am filming some try-on clips. As you can tell from my outfit and lack of makeup, <laughs> I have a thrift haul going up, I think tomorrow, and so I need to make some edits to that. I need to film some try-on clips. I also have a sponsored Instagram story that I need to record, so I will be doing my makeup, but right now I'm just doing clothes, so I'm gonna listen to a podcast and speed through these really quick. Um, I was editing in bed this morning. You really didn't miss much. Taking a quick little snack lunch break, I have some chickpea salad from yesterday, some tapenade, cashew cheese. This hummus I bought yesterday at Erwan and honestly it was pretty expensive for what it is, but the flavor is incredible, so delicious. So I'm gonna have all of this stuff on some crackers. Looks pretty good to me. I love like a, a snack lunch. All of my filming is done. It is now 4 p.m. And unfortunately, my day is not quite going to plan. I was really trying to get everything done by like one or two, which is like just unrealistic so that I could drive home in time to like get Sammy and come back here before it got dark. I just checked my maps and it would take me two hours to get from LA to Orange County right now, which for context usually takes about an hour. So I just figured I would wait out the traffic and complete some small tasks that I needed to do anyway. So I just painted my nails. This beautiful color is Cactus by Ruth Polish. And I thought I would take you guys with me on this small little DIY project that I've been meaning to do and just haven't had the time. So what better time is there than now? I have a label maker and this makes those amazing vintage looking stamped labels. And so I want to label our entire spice drawer because if you've seen it before in my what i eat in a weeks we have a lot of spices and they're all vertical so you only see the tops of the jars which is just not great when you're looking to grab something quickly while cooking so i am going to label them with this amazing label maker so that we don't have that problem anymore One entire hour later, and here is the new and improved drawer. It is so pleasing just being able to read them all from above, and I was able to throw out anything that was empty or expired. Ideally, I would love for them all to be in the same exact sized containers. I could even keep like a bulk bag in my cabinet somewhere, but honestly, this works for now and it is not wasteful. I'm keeping all my old jars and uh, you know, it does the job. My favorite place to buy spices and seasoning blends is definitely Penzi's. This is their roasted garlic and it is so much better than your average garlic powder. You can even just tell in the color. The traffic back home now is looking like an hour and 30 minutes. It's getting back to more of a acceptable time, um, but I just figured I might as well make dinner because it is late and by the time I get there, they definitely will have eaten. So I'm going to be making some pad thai and I will link the recipe below. It has been featured in a what I eat in a week before, so I'm not going to like go into depth of what I'm cooking right now because I'm really hungry and it's online already. So definitely check it out. I love this recipe. It is delicious and so much cheaper than buying it out. The fact that it's still light outside, I have the window open, it's warm. My heart just feels so happy. 
and I'm also opening a sparkling water which is so out of character I really never have sparkling water but I really like these they're from Rishi which is the same company that makes my favorite chai concentrate yeah they just know what they're doing I guess when it comes to uh, spices and beverages